And this is Ken Kreitzer at the United States Military Academy. I have a chance to talk with the head coach of Army football, and that's Jeff Munkin. And uh, coach, last uh, week we had a chance to go down to uh, Philadelphia and visit uh, uh, with uh, some of the Navy players and coaches, uh, your, uh, your colleague from years ago, Ken Neomatololo, and also the uh, Navy captains. We got a chance to meet Keenan Reynolds. They've had an extraordinary season, kind of uh, really matured as a team. What are some of the reasons that uh, this Navy team has uh, been so successful this season? They're a very talented team and have a veteran team. A lot of those guys that are playing so many snaps for them are juniors and seniors. And, and uh, when you have a championship caliber team, that's oftentimes the case. Uh, I know they're very well coached. Kenny does an unbelievable job, as does that entire staff. Some of those guys I worked with and, and know and respect. Uh, and they're, they're coaching those guys very, very well. They're maximizing the potential that they have. And uh, that's something that all of us as coaches are trying to do with our own football teams is get the most out of our guys. And, uh, and they're certainly doing that. And they can play with anybody right now. Absolutely. And uh, we've watched your team mature this season, especially on defense. You're very strong up the middle with uh, nose tackle TJ Altamala and your inside linebackers, Jeremy Timph, Andrew King, and your, uh, and your secondary. What are the, the keys that, for your defense to stop this very good option offense from Navy? One is, uh, is trying to slow down Keenan Reynolds. I don't know if you can stop that guy. He, uh, he's such a talented player and, and, uh, but really, uh, last week at the at the press conference was the first opportunity for me to really kind of be close to him and stand next to him in street clothes and you realize he's not a great big guy uh, but uh but gosh he runs through a lot of tackles and really does a great job finding seams and and they you know they build the offense and build plays so that he can he can win on his legs and and uh and and he does a really good job I'm, i i think that's where we got to start is trying to slow him down, not give him opportunities to make plays, and uh, and he's got a great supporting cast. So it's not just him. We got to stop. We got to stop the, the the whole thing. Absolutely. And on the other side of the ball on offense, you've talked about the need to uh, just really control the ball, keep it away from the the offense of Navy. And today on the press conference call, you talked a little bit about the importance of your offensive line sustaining their blocks. Something we've talked about all year, and how they go is how the offense will go. What does the off what offensive line have to do to be successful against this big Navy defense? They they've got to to do just what you said, and that's sustain blocks. Uh, and, and along with those guys, certainly are the slots and the receivers and the B-backs and, and uh, everybody we involve, Kelvin White at tight end, uh, we've got to block those guys and, and keep them blocked. And, uh, and that, to me, is the key to, to our success in running the football. Th they've got to have a good game. They've got, to, they've got to win the football game for us on offense. If they don't do their job, you know, we, we don't have guys that we can hand the ball to and not block anybody. And, uh, and hope they're going to gain yards and score touchdowns. we got to do a good job uh, up front first. And that brings confidence to the whole offense. Absolutely. And uh, today you were talking about this being the only time this group of Army football players has played this group of Navy football players. And uh, what are some of the, uh, the things that you're saying to the team for their preparation, their attitude for going into this game uh, against Navy in Philadelphia? Just to prepare to execute. To, uh, to do our very best in practice uh, so that we're prepared to play our best on Saturday. And, and I, I, don't, I don't think it's fair to put pressure on our football team uh, for past football teams and, and, and where they fell short. The, the 13 years in a row has nothing to do with this football team. This football team is entirely different from the one from a year ago in terms of the personnel, the people we have. We've got a lot of new faces, some young guys that are playing, and we've got guys on this team that have played in these games. Certainly last year, the year before, uh, we got seniors on this team that'll dress out that, that uh, didn't dress out as freshmen. We've got sophomores and juniors that have never dressed for this game. So uh, it, it's not the same football team as last year. Though some of these guys are back, uh, it, it's, it's our responsibility as a football team to win this game. And, and that, that's really been my, my point to our team and what I'm trying to stress to them rather than uh, place the burden of, of uh, a long streak on their shoulders. We're, we're just trying to win one football game. Absolutely. And uh, Coach Jeff Munger, I just want to thank you for all your help and uh, uh, chances to talk with you during the season. And just want to wish you the best down in Philadelphia as you take on Navy and one of sports' great rivalries, the Army-Navy game. And uh, we'll see you down in Philadelphia on Saturday. Thanks, Ken. Beat Navy. 
Absolutely. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the United States Military Academy.